my name's Todd Congelier. I'm from San Pedro, California, and I run Recess Records and The Sardine. I started skating when I was younger, obviously, and then a guy named Mike Smith, who ran Liberty Skateboards, turned me pro, and it was very short-lived. It seemed like a lot longer, but it was probably three or four years. Getting free trips and free skate stuff and a little bit of money, um, insanely great. The capital was used to start Recess, and I'm still doing that to this day. Whatever money I was making, I was still living with my parents. Instead of wasting it, I thought, I'm gonna buy a four track, because I like making songs, and that was kind of the birth of FYP. Started recording tapes. I would just sell them to people that were at the contest. Jeff Grosso and Ben Schroeder and Jason Jesse actually said they liked it, and I was like, oh, somebody else likes it? Okay, maybe I'll keep doing it. And my first record was FYP Extra Credit. I started that in my parents' garage, which I converted into my bedroom. But then my parents lost their house, and I lost my ramp at the same time. So I moved it out of there into the apartment that we, that we moved to. And from there, I went to a warehouse, other apartments, back to a warehouse, back to an office. This label is nomadic, let's just say that. I think the DIY approach is, is ingrained from being a skateboarder. And not only that, is I learned punk rock music through skateboarding. It was all encapsulated into one thing, and there was nothing separate about it. The acronym DIY became super popular within, within my scene of music years later, but at the time I'd never even heard of it. And the first review of an FYP 7-inch was they were kind of making fun of the DIY aspect of it. I knew it sucked so bad that no one else would want to touch it. So it was just one of those things where I'm having fun with this and if no one else wants to touch it, it doesn't matter. I have money to do this. And the first one made money and I just kept snowballing into another release. If there wasn't some artistic value to me and caused me to get up in the morning to, to, to be excited about doing something, then I would not be still doing it because there were so many peaks and valleys with the money part of it. It became really hard to run a record label for so many years throughout the, the 30 plus years. If I didn't have the joy in doing it, I would I would have quit a long time ago. Me and my friend Isaac Thoughts, he's originally from Chicago. He moved out here a few years back. So me and him started a distribution called Recess Ops, and we had a building down on, uh, on 15th and Center in San Pedro. We started doing shows there, but realized all we were doing was collecting just enough money to pay the bands, because most of the bands were touring, and we couldn't really afford to rent out the bottom part of the warehouse without taking some money and the only way we could do that is by selling stuff and my idea was to let's well, let's sell beer and let's do a legit place and, and he, Isaac was way into it and so me and him leased out this spot that used to be a bakery called Ramona's built it for three years and then we opened December of 19 just in time for a worldwide pandemic My dream as a kid was to have a, a bedroom like this, and obviously that is unobtainable to most kids that don't have money. So this is kind of like what you'd always expect. I got my comic books, we got skateboard decks, a lot of them that I held on to, even though I blew it and didn't hold on to a lot of them that I should have. Kept a couple, and then there's some local skaters um, that turn pro that we have up here. The records, it's mostly stuff that we distribute through Recess Ops. We try to get the classics, you know, Circle Jerks, Black Flag, Seven Seconds. This is where magic happens. Bands, karaoke, and there's been one comedy show. If you're if you're waiting in line to relieve yourself, and you don't like clowns, then you're in big trouble. From the patio connects to our distribution and mail order room where we distribute all our vinyl and CDs and punk rock oddities. We could do everything our hearts desire here besides going down a water slide, which is next. 
Doing music almost feels accidental. I never expected to be doing this. I never liked musicians, but I loved punk rock. Every time I'd see a band like, you know, Seven Seconds, I, I said, I would love to do that. But I, I just just didn't think it was in the cards for me. I didn't realize that you, you didn't really have to start off with, a, with enormous talent. And um, that snowballed into this is what I want to do for the rest of my life and just became abundantly clear at some point. I do feel like it, the Sardi is not just a typical nightclub, I, and a lot of people feel like it's, it's an art community. It's, it's really hard to describe that to the straight world, you know, if somebody asks me like, what I do, and, and if I say, yeah, I own a club, they always assume it's something completely different. So when they actually see it, they say, this isn't a club, this is an art hole, or you know, some, some funny word to describe it. something that the community has latched onto way more than we ever thought. I thought it was going to be our, our regular locals that would go to our shows at the, the, the bar down the street and it, it turned into way more than that so we're pretty grateful for it. Tonight is the first night of the Recess Romp and it's almost 34 year anniversary of Recess Records. I have nine bands all weekend. Um, it's either bands that I've put out or I'm about to put out and most bands are from the 90s that are getting back together just to play this. How does it feel like to be in business for 34 years? It feels like I got away with something and still hanging in there. I'm on, I'm on borrowed time here. I never wanted to be on the, on the club owner side of things. I wanted to be the guy coming in with his guitar and playing a show and, and drink their beer. And now I'm on the other side. It feels just like an extension of recess. You know, it's the same thing. You're running a label and you're turning people on to new music. You could find something you got fun with for your whole life, and then, or even half of it is you're successful. San Pedro is one of the best communities ever. I mean, this this was like a hybrid of locals and people coming from out of town. And, no matter what town they're from, nobody's as supportive as San Pedro as a community, so. I do feel content in my life right now, even though I've, I just, I'm not equipped to, feel, to ever feel content. I, I feel like there's always something, there's always a new album I wanna do or a new, a new show I wanna do. There's always something that, that's, that's itching that I need to scratch. Um, but for the most part, I want to sustain this. We want to do bigger, you know, fest type things, you know, and that's definitely on the horizon. Where do I see myself in the next five years? Hopefully doing the exact same thing, but with just a few more hours of sleep at, at night. That's, that would be ideal.